Hello and welcome by EA's art channel. My name is Elkin Wiesma and today I'd like to share with you how I draw in whiskers and quite light whiskers on a subject where I use quite some layers. And um, yeah, if you use quite some layers, you have a lot of pigment on the paper in different colors. So it can be quite hard to make whiskers and those long white hairs above his eye. And therefore I'd like to share with you how I do that, because I think I found a method that can be quite useful. And uh, yeah, therefore I'd like to share with you and um, I hope you found this useful. So let's get over and start making some whiskers. If you want to use a pencil to make your uh, whiskers or the uh, small little white hairs, you may want to make sure you have a, a quite a sharp point on your pencil. You can therefore can use obviously a sharpener. I like to use a, a, a electric sharpener. I will have a link in the video description if you uh, are curious which one I like to use. And also I like to use some sanded paper. And so I can pull the, the pencil and the point of the pencil over the sanded paper and it makes it even sharper. And um, so therefore I don't have to use the electric sharper all the time because you're going to lose a lot of that pigment, a lot, a lot of that um, pencil uh, yeah, pigment I uh, should say. And um, yeah, that's, uh, to, to, get, to avoid that problem I like to use the sanded paper. But I now like to use this Conte Paris stick. And uh, it's a bit harder pastel, but I like it because the edges are also hard and you can make fine, uh, very, very fine detailed hair. And uh, also on the whiskers, it's quite easy to use. So I like this one. This one, uh, I will also have a link in the video description. But this one is the, the one to go for me for uh, using in my uh, drawings to make uh, whiskers or other white little lines. And also I have this one. This one is a, it's much bigger, uh, bigger and um, it's extra soft so it leaves uh, a lot of pigment on, on your uh, paper. It can give the uh, a very uh, a bright, bright look on your paper but it is too thick to make uh, whiskers or at, at least for me it's too thick. So therefore I like to stick with this Conte uh, Paris pastel stick. It's harder and it's much easier to use. So I'd like to uh, show to you how I used it. And I hope you can see it well, but I'm using the side of this pastel stick and I'm really watching where I should go with that hair. And when once I'm making that hair, I'm going all the way. And don't hesitate because that will show up in your hair. So be sure where to put those hair. And once you start putting in those hair, just take it all the way to the finish because otherwise you will uh, see it in your end piece. So, and also just make it... Uh, curve and don't use too much straight lines because most of the times those ha hairs are not straight they slightly curved of quite a bit curved like um, on the uh, left side of this eye and you also will see it here the the hairs the whiskers will be curved also and here you can see that i'm making a very small teeny tiny hairs and those hairs are making your drawings and paintings of course much na looking natural so i'm ve very happy that i can do this with this conte paris stick and uh, yeah you get it i like it really well but uh, i recently uh, discovered this and it, it works so fine on a pastel, pastel uh, pieces pieces i should say and uh, I, I really had a hard time to making in those whiskers uh, as natural as I like with the uh, with only the pencil. So therefore, um, yeah, I'm uh, happy that I have this pastel stick to use. And also, you can see here those long lines. Just make them in one stroke. Don't hesitate. It's, if it's going a little bit wrong, just may finish your stroke and then come back. And you can adjust some areas with a pencil, which I will do here. And I wasn't uh, wrong on this whiskers, but I just wanted to hypen up the contrast a bit more because those areas were a bit lighter than the other areas on the whiskers. But if you made a little mistake or there weren't, uh, or there were some areas on the whiskers that didn't show up that well, you can come back with that pencil. But don't try to do it over with the uh, pastel um, stick because that can be quite hard because it's so hard to get, especially on those fine lines, to be 
quite exactly and go over the same area again. So don't, just leave it and come back with a pencil. It's, it's so much easier than uh, with that stick. And also some uh, whiskers will be a bit darker or have a, a little bit more color if you want to use a, a little bit more blue or something. You can easily come back with the, those pencils again. So for some areas they were a bit, uh, they were a bit black, especially on the beginning of the whiskers. And um, therefore I just use the black pencil, do it the same way as I did with a white pencil. Sharpen the point and um, adjust it a little bit with my sanded paper and come back and I easily can could adjust the color there. So that is how I make whiskers in pastel and I hope you find this uh, tutorial useful. Please let me know in the comment section below this video and if you like this video or other videos please subscribe to my channel. I would really like it of course. So and uh, also if you like uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and, Instagram and also my own website. And for now I hope to see you at my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.